Hi guys, so today's video is about hibernation. I'll be talking about why you should hibernate your ants, and uh, this is, I feel this is important, because hibernation is often overlooked when caring for your ants, and many ant keepers just only hear about it or only like research into it um, when it's almost too late, like right now. And yeah, this video will just talk about why it's essential that you hibernate your ants. Trust me, um, last year I actually didn't hibernate my Campanas Modoc colony, and they nearly died out. And I'm lucky they didn't die and they were saved this year, although they were definitely slowed down in the beginning. But yeah, so this year I'll be hibernating all my ant colonies. And okay, let's get started. So the first and biggest problem with not hibernating your ants is that they'll become completely inactive. In the wild, ants will simply cluster up uh, around November, December and hibernate. And if you don't give them the opportunity to hibernate, like the temperature's too high, they'll still forage, but just not like very consistently. And their foraging will slow down, there'll be less of it, and they'll bring back less food, and consequentially, they'll have less brood. And eventually, the colony will just stop growing, and maybe even shrink in size. Now, usually, if you, do, you don't hibernate them for like the first year, then eventually they'll snap out of this trance state and start foraging actively again in the summer of next year. However, if you consistently don't hibernate them, they'll just be less and less active each year and eventually your entire colony will die. And if you don't hibernate your ants, right, the colony is just unable to grow. So let's say in your first year with your colony, let's say you have Lacey's alienis and she produces around 50 workers. All right, it's November now. If you don't hibernate them, then they'll just stop foraging, the workers will eventually die of old age, and there will be larvae and brood produced, but it'll just be in such small quantities that the colony will shrink and shrink, and each year it'll get even smaller, and so eventually it'll die out. I have never heard of anyone keeping ants in from a zone where ants do hibernate, and not hibernating them in captivity, and still succeeding. Like, in every case where you do that, eventually the colony will die out, and it will never grow really big in the first place. Now remember, this only applies to ants that live in colder regions. Tropical ants, like these weaver ants, or army ants, or basically any ant from a region where you don't get any snow or where the temperature doesn't get really low, then they won't hibernate in the wild, and because of this, they don't need to hibernate in captivity either. Now, if you're confused about how to hibernate your ants, or what exactly what conditions you need to meet, well, I am making a video on that that will be out next week, so stay tuned. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and hopefully now you understand why it's so crucial that you hibernate your ants. And if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, then hopefully subscribe and leave a like down below. I really appreciate the support. Alright, bye!